One of the most useful things about having reverb or delay effects on a CERN channel is that you can process the sound of the effect without having an impact on the dry signal. For example, put lead.wav onto an audio track in Cubase, uh, set the project tempo to 175 BPM and create a send with a ping pong delay on it. Load up the lead ping pong delay patch. Because this is on a send, uh, it needs a mix level 100%, just so we're hearing the wet signal. And uh, also turn the feedback up to 90 to give us a nice long tail. Now this sounds great, but it muddies up the mix a bit. And you can only really hear how much once you actually start EQing the sound. So let's add a studio EQ after the delay, and we'll use the low shelf to take off. 24 dB at 700 Hz or so. Now you can hear what an impact that has and this bit still gives us the feel of the delayed sound but the mids are, are much more clean without being muddied by the delay tail. Another useful technique is to automate a gain stage on the send channel to quickly cut the delay tail when it's not needed, for example in some kind of transition to another section or something like that. For example, we can use the output level on the studio EQ. Now this only it's only ducked by 24 dB, so you can't really mute it or whatever, but you can still get a flavour of what we're talking about. So for example, if you use this to duck the delay tail by minus 24 dB, you can hear how that kind of like instantly has brings up a lot more space in the mix for other sounds.